I wiped my face with my bottom yesterday. I didn't mean to, it was an accident, eh? I don't want to spend my life in the supermarket aisle making sure there's not microbead laced dolphin brains basted in palm oil in my slave plantation chop. But instead of saying, hooray, Moses says, no way, God, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? And starts arguing with God and saves all the Jewish people. So what kind of leader would you rather be following? This guy, who is happy to float away and leave you behind, or this guy who fights hard to make sure that everybody is saved? And which of these two leaders do you think is more like Jesus? According to our tradition, the only righteous man left in the world, when he heard that the sea level was rising, built himself an ark, hoisted the gangplank, and to hell with everyone else. Hard to imagine that kind of attitude, isn't it? So Jesus' spirituality was nurtured by the outdoors, as well as being nurtured by the scriptures and the temple. Since Jesus, the relationship between the church and Christian theology and a kind of healthy attitude to the rest of life on earth has been ambiguous, but not without promise. Now, of course, the ecological version of the prodigal son story has one key difference from Jesus' version. The elder brothers and those prodigals who have returned home already can't be limited to the resentful passivity of the elder brother in Jesus' story. They need the table-turning, whip-cracking spirituality of Jesus to be added into the mix.